<laughs> what is going on air signs gemini libra aquarius two shade germain three three six tarot here how are y'all doing today i hope you're having a fantastic day all right of course y'all with the sage setting the intention to cleanse remove protect and purify our space our energy the cards our org fields of any and all negativity negative energy low vibrational energy sent intentionally or unintentionally from those known and unknown including ourselves okay very good or er, i'm sorry air signs look i'm already starting off wrong air signs what is going on this is your weekly vibe and energy forecast all right let's do the meditation jump in see what spirit got going on uh oh um clear the energy and make us receptive to spirit so we can get these messages okay here we go y'all I heard air of attraction. I'm sorry, air of attraction, law of attraction, um, air signs. So we're going to take that as air signs, law of attraction. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see what that means. Let's grab an overall energy card for you guys, or some overall energy, or one overall energy and some guidance cards, some guidance from spirit overall energy for this week for my air sign spirit y'all know as we're getting the cards out here this is a general reading not a one-to-one -one reading so take what energy resonates for you your life situation leave everything else it's not for you oh y'all you gonna think i'm lying and i'm you're not but you're gonna know that i'm not because i'm gonna tell you to do so i'm gonna ask you humbly <laughs> <laughs> to watch the fire sign reading okay air signs this is important because there's significant information for you in the fire sign reading i'm gonna let you take what you need to take from there but i will tell you that in the fire sign reading they had the sun that came out two times in two different decks now this is a third deck right and i just got done doing the fire sign reading so clearly the sun energy the successful energy with the number 31 that is coming in which also reversed is 13 the death card so some of you <laughs> are finding success on the success is on the horizon this is the sun rising okay um and some of you really standing in your power success new opportunities and new beginnings from an air signs coming in okay <clears throat> excuse me look that happened too in the meditation excuse me y'all i'm sorry i had to clear my throat on that um so some of you may some of you may be in the communication business is what spirit is giving you yeah i, I look i was already speechless about the fire sign reading because it was just the happiest and most joyful energy in the cards um i'm personally of course i'm a leo and everything but i can't express the energy to y'all that was actually in the cards it was very very beautiful um this is it and it's just like it's it's carrying over that energy the happiness and joy so some of you are really just doing what you love okay and enjoying doing it um the light is being sh it's like the light is shining on you okay light is shining you are shining your light as well standing in your power knowing your worth <laughs> this is just y'all i was I, i'm just outdone this sun energy and of course i have a personal connection to the sun card i've told y'all that if you watched me from the beginning um the sun card in any deck is representative of my me madre my mother um, who of course is in spirit she is one of my spirit guides so thank you ma for confirmation so y'all definitely check out the fireside reading okay let's get y'all another energy card and i'm just they said there are two cards we gonna get and we gonna see and y'all if i get this card i'm gonna know something that one wasn't it that wasn't it but it definitely <laughs> is along the same lines from an air signs you're standing in your power and developing something okay 
and you're walking away you're getting out your head from my air signs okay um and stepping into your creative energy you have the sun i'm sorry you have the sun card that's coming up which is definitely speaking to standing in your power um being creative things that using that creativity that leo energy and then you have your second chakra as well that is coming in the creative side of you number 36 number 18 it's like the it's 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 like the boss up energy the same energy i'm feeling walking away from anxiety and fears and getting out of your head because you can see the way forward now you can see um by walking in the light and using and and when you were in this anxiety that stage it keeps you it's like you cannot see the horizon you can't see but when you finally peek out air signs right and get out of your head and actually get into i know this is this is sacred angel but it's showing me like heart chakra get out of your head and get into your heart look at the difference in these two this is like the devil and the angel for some of y'all i just gotta say it the devil and the angel okay let me put it out there that way the devil and the angel but the light you are shining your light you are choosing the lighter path okay you're choosing to move forward in a more successful way a happier way a more joyous way with this uh power this card coming out is what they're really showing me all right let's get a what else spirit for my air signs very good air signs look and i they just i had to double check that y'all i don't have my contacts in so forgive me if you see me squinting and stuff you have the numbers 18 and 36 both of which break down to the number nine message okay so sagittarius energy coming through on that for whatever reason with um the number nine so some of you may have some sagittarius in the chart okay now what are we doing spirit let's get some tarot and see what else yeah for my air signs this week okay i just saw gemini so some of you are definitely <clears throat> communicating right speaking your truth <laughs> speaking your truth okay i'm um, going to be very important but let's see what we got going on spirit spirit guys ancestors and angels of the highest and purest light vibration and energy what is the vibe what is the energy for my air signs and we have a seven of pentacles okay the seven of pen the seven of coins is coming in seven of pentacles is your um heart of the matter energy crossing you Ooh -hoo. we have the devil <laughs> okay look we already talked about it though we we are aware <laughs> we are aware look we we know we know that one for sure okay let's get some more cards better and no it's not better the devil you know okay no it's not what do we have next what is in your foundation love to see it in that spot you have the five of pentacles yes letting go of those attachments worry negative thoughts anything that that was we already know that that is coming through Capricorn, look, another number five uh, air signs, you have the five of wands. What that's coming up in the recent past. Yes, walking away from conflict and drama too. We most certainly are. What is in our thoughts? The bag, the, look, a lot of my fire signs and air signs are really just focused on yourself, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself with the queen of pentacles is coming up in your thoughts. Let's see how you are showing up this week, Gemini. Libra and Aquarius. How are my air signs showing up this week? I feel like I always do a longer shuffle right there. Y'all ready? Come on, spirit. Look with the hanged man. But this card actually says awakening. <laughs> okay. Look, some of y'all are moving from the dark to the light. It's the light. Seeing things better from like higher, from a more elevated perspective, of course, is what the Hey man means I guess I'll do those definitions and then we'll read intuitively in the near future you have the king of wands all right <laughs> very good <laughs> encouraged be encouraged in your environment oh listen the ace of cups is coming in for y'all awakening to love for some of you letting go of an old toxic connection possibly for some of you and now calling in 
a king of wands maybe a fire sign what is in your hopes and fears you have the seven of wands stand up and standing up for yourself <laughs> taking ownership of your life protecting your energy and your peace and a potential outcome is the Ten of Wands. Ooh, Ten of Wands, you are re releasing baggage and weight and worry and stress and anxiety. And we don't see what is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. And we're going to jump into the cards. Okay, Air Signs, what we got going on? What you don't see coming, the Two of Wands, patience and planning. Take your time, be patient, it's coming. Okay, taking the next steps. This is you putting things into action, being bold and ambitious about the things that you want to call in, about where you, the direction you want to go. What is your happiness? What is joy and happiness for you with this sun card, right? What makes you happy? And this is you taking the necessary steps towards those. Um, you may be connecting with some other people who will help you to move forward in that journey. You just continue to move forward, persevere. Um, that came up in the fire sign reading as well so this is what is happening it's almost like this is this is like look you're on the same path as the fire signs air signs you're on the path to happiness growth prosperity abundance joy peace it's time to just make plans towards that okay um so planting seeds in this time look some of you may be reaping the harvest very soon as well seeds well planted efforts or investments <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me that will be rewarded in the future so abundance told you sun card <laughs> listen the need for patience patience and planning right with this two of wands is coming up plant that you don't you don't see the flowers you don't need the free the fruit you don't see the tree you don't have any of it the same day you plant the seeds so just think of things in terms of a flower or a tree okay um that'll help keep you grounded too right you don't message you don't plant this you don't eat uh, the tree doesn't grow i'm gonna start using it now the tree doesn't grow the same day you plant the seed so instead use it to ground yourself okay while you wait oh thank you spirit all your manifestations to come in <laughs> okay because you have the devil that is crossing you your ego your ego's trying to talk you out of your greatness and your happiness and put you back into this five of uh coins pentacles energy that we have coming up in the foundation you have moved past scarcity thinking lack mentalities not having enough not believing in yourself you you may not be where you want to be but you're getting there okay so do not allow your mind your ego to come back in and try to take control so you do not look you had already broken free look she free as a bird on this card the bond the chains are broken the bondage is done is over with okay is is done um this is angelic protection thank you archangel michael coming in to the rescue like no we are freeing you bells ringing outside and everything you are free of any of this this past the past of not having enough spirit say that's out so archangel michael coming in also freeing you from this look you leaving all of this behind i did a similar reading that had uh five five and 55 energy as well walking away from this drama conflict confusion we ain't got time conflicts <laughs> conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions walk away from drama unless it's really worth your time don't give people your time your resources your energy okay it's not worth it for you um and they don't deserve it <laughs> they don't deserve it's not worth it for you and they don't deserve it from you let them have their moment okay cool just walk away okay some of y'all this is your thoughts that you because they're showing like the mirror reflection that's showing up here so for some of y'all it's just a matter of learning how to control your thoughts and not allow your thoughts to um take you back into a negative pattern of thinking or even the behavior being very ambitious as well some of you may have some competition around you right um and in that that doesn't always mean bad this may be you know you have to work so that has to have your time you have a family so you have to give that time you may have other responsibilities so you have like a lot of things that are competing for your time but you gonna handle it well because you have the queen of pentacles that's coming up in your thoughts you are very being very grounded back to the tree reference as well being very practical taking care of yourself self-love self-care is the key okay um i'm going to be doing some new self-love and self-care readings on the channel so y'all make sure you check those out a love of family and home being very practical some of you may have capricorn in your chart um 
be message being very practical some of you um are just learning how to make better decisions financially um for some of you guys is what i what i just heard and that is helping you to move it differently as well it's allowing you to see your growth and progress as you make different moves as well securing the bag look she's sitting there with the coin on her i'm sorry that ain't focusing y'all she's sitting there with it on her lap and then you have a rabbit that's down here on the card as well so it's showing fertility and abundance just don't get overwhelmed make sure that you're staying grounded when you get lost in your thoughts right if you get lost in the sauce thinking about too much stuff because you are going through an awakening and because you are receiving wisdom and guidance oh look i just paid attention to this tree right so meditation some of you may just need to get outside and couldn't and hug a tree okay hug a tree there's nothing wrong with hugging a tree everything has energy and actually in nature of course provides us great energy hug a tree i do it all the time a temporary pause for reflection and insight so some of you know things have not been moving forward because things had to be let go of released um this you had to disassociate from i guess um so that you could have this awakening where you see things in a whole new light all right so seeing the seeing the 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 light and the darkness with this eight of cups also replenishing yourself uh nurturing yourself taking care of yourself listening to your intuition because of course the ace of cups is like who intuition on point right um being psychic awakening in a psychic gifts ability skills talents a beautiful new emotional experience um a romantic relationship you might have some love that is coming in could be a fire sign we talked about right but some of you have really had gone through a period of reflection now it's time to have some fun as well you have the one little dolphin over there but dolphins normally run in like a school i think it's a pod maybe um so have some fun do something fun okay um that is going to be part of your lesson as well so look and also for some of you um the grounding thing is coming back again with this tree and so look you're supported guided you're going to be fine um but there's something going on about this tree i don't know they're bringing it back to me again oh oh they said pay attention to the fork in the road right or maybe like a tree in the road i don't know Maybe some of you might have a tree that, fought, that fell down or something. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But I'm just going with that as well. Call it in a king of wands or this energy. Okay. For some of you, if you're looking for love, you may be calling it in. But motivational, inspiring, ambitious, taking a leadership role. Some of you are taking the lead, whether it's in work. Um, and that may be a source of your anxiety if you've taken on a new responsibility at work. But just know you got it, right? You are the perfect person for the job. Some of you better may be there do public speaking, right? With the king of wands um, and me having to clear my throat chakra 17 times. Um, just continue to keep an eye on the big picture okay remember you don't eat the seed i mean eat the fruit plant see the tree the day you plant the seeds just keep your eye on the big picture stay focused um and communicate your vision right they're bringing me that as well on this ace of cups like what do you see how do you see things progressing what is it that you want to make happen um what is it that you want to accomplish you have to be able to visualize and see your dreams okay um air signs then and you have a potential fear hope or fear you have the seven of wands so definitely protecting yourself your energy your peace y'all know uh, this is always my protect your energy protect your peace card um stand up for yourself but choose your battles wisely we don't have time okay this is not worth it it's not worth our time effort energy none of it it's not worth it okay so don't get pulled back into that don't let anybody pull you back into that because you're moving forward don't let and and when you're feeling overwhelmed with this ten of wands that's showing up in your uh future outcome you have to find a way to get back to center and realign okay because in the sense this is you in the center but you hit their dead center in the tree okay you get grounded you have to that it's that's going to be your task this week is making sure you're staying grounded okay when you're feeling overwhelmed anxious because you may have a lot going on this week okay let's get some clarity from so air signs what are we anxious about spirit Excuse me, y'all. What are we anxious about? My air signs. 
clarifying your anxiety card over here. What we what we losing sleep about, y'all? <laughs> Look, change. <laughs> You're anxious about change with the tower that just came in, okay? But change is necessary. Change is growth, okay? Uh, upheaval, sudden change, chaos, awakening. That's it. I know that you, I know it's a little scary, right? But revelation surprises also happen too, like epiphanies. This don't mean your whole world is crumbling. This is like good change, right? Good changes that are happening for you. People, the tower, people give the tower a bad rap, right? The power is not, the tower is not bad because there's power in the tower. Okay. I just, Never mind. There, but there is, right? <laughs> Air signs, there is power in the tower. Look, I need to write that down because that is the name for y'all's video. Okay, don't be judging me. Power in the tower for my air signs. Because there is, right? Because it gives you a chance to grow, rebuild, reboot, reset, regenerate, whatever, rebirth, right? Because there's transformation as well that can happen after that. You may get a new job. You may leave one job to get a better job. You may leave one relationship and find somebody better. You may just build a business. Any, whatever your happiness is for you. The tower is, is always powerful because it signifies change, but it's not always life-changing either okay you might just decide that you want to like find a great dentist or something i don't know but the tower is not always life changing okay it's just a change something a little shake up okay that is coming in what else spirits let's clarify this devil card well, tell us about this devil card for my air sign spirit keeping all this anxiety and things going if this is a person, if it's a job, we kind of already. What else do we need to know, Spirit? Oh, all oh, the cards fell. Oh, the, wait a minute. No, I got to do that again. That was too many cards. My bad. Real life tarot. Uh, what do we need to know about this devil card? Ooh, duplicate. We got a, a repeater with the Queen of Pentacles coming in again. So you may be walking away from Earth sign or again, job. Something that maybe you thought was going to provide you stability, security, message for the rest of your life. You may be walking away from that, cutting ties, cutting connections. Something that gave you anxiety anyway. You, it wasn't like it was something that <laughs> made you happy. Doesn't matter what it is. Whatever this attachment is, what was for you, it had you anxious. It, you didn't feel good about it anyway. So I don't, you're not going to be sad about it, um, but it is going to be a change. It may be something. So just be prepared. Another reason to stay grounded this week, air signs, because you are make, taking these, making, taking and making these changes in your life, right? Um, to help you out to move you forward. What else, spirit? Let's clarify this 10 of wands. How can we change it up for my air signs? grounded down to earth generous be caring be responsible ten of wands you have the knight of cups message be responsible okay following the heart romance oh so some of y'all might be dropping some dead weight i'm just sorry but it is what it is some of y'all dropping some weight right <laughs> some people just some attachments we already talked about release that is happening okay um so that you can call in this knight in shining armor like the duke i don't even remember bridgerton i don't know if anybody watched i don't know whoever the who, whoever your potential person is for you your duke or duchess whatever works for you right calling it in because you're releasing the dead weight Maybe anxiety, fear, then making room, creating space for something better. Okay, let's get some guidance for my air signs. Guidance from your guides to mine. All right, guidance from your guides to mine. Jim, Mana, Libra, and Aquarius. Oh, I think that one flipped over. You have fair woman that is coming in first. I'm going to try to get that to focus for y'all, but y'all know autofocus be tripping sometimes. 
dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Might be meeting somebody. I hope it's not. Oh, when I look down, because I can't see. The first thing I saw was brothel. Y'all don't be going to no brothels. Look, you have barrel. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in barrel okay you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or gold oh yes and spirit just said and we are walking away from it look this barrel's all busted and broken anyway it was time to move on from it what out of the way okay so we're moving we're moving into better things what else spirit for my air so oh 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 wait what is this Broken wishbone. Ooh, Gemini. Um, Libra, Aquarius. Wishes will not be granted. I don't know. Ooh, they, <laughs> look, ain't cutting no corners with that one. Um, some of you may have thought, ooh, look, remember, I just said, thank you, Spirit. <laughs> some of you may, again, may have thought that you were going to stay in a situation, um, a job, something that you thought was going to last you for a long time a relationship for some of you but you chose to walk away from it it's like look you had to walk away from it and do something different okay it was time what else spirit for my air signs so no some of you didn't okay so look they're also saying they're showing me thank you spirit look that is the tower energy when you overstay your welcome okay when you overstay your welcome and it's like look it's time to let go it's time to move on so it's like no some of you don't want to move on or are averting the change is what i just heard and that's what makes it more of a tower event okay it's what they are look as i i was like what they're telling me incoming messages okay so it's like you have to get in front of the tower okay air signs whatever this change is for you some of you didn't want to go so receive the message there is a message of significant importance <laughs> coming to you that you may not have been expecting so listen intently to what is being said okay um so don't let anybody ear hustle you make sure if you are in like negotiating any contracts um, anything like that that you are really just paying attention to all of the details look come on with the ground and energy again spend time in nature so that's your confirmation okay some of y'all just need to get grounded this week is a week of getting grounded from air signs getting out of this energy okay you're doing too much thinking it's like you're overthinking it it's like it's time to let go of this energy but some of you are definitely um this week just like preparing making preparations don't tell i'm not gonna tell don't ever i'll never tell anybody to quit their job okay um unless you're ready to quit your job have a nest egg have a backup plan a plan b c d e whatever um if you are wanting to leave your job if it is the source of your anxiety and this stress that is coming in for you the drama um or if it's just not enough okay with the five of pentacles because for some people it's just not enough right um have so you're having to look for additional employment in order to make your wishes come true and have some wish fulfillment so that can be stressful so um just know that you may be dealing with some stress this week so it's just a matter of getting out of your head and regrounding yourself okay final couple of words of guidance get y'all a couple of guidance cards as we close you have foundation focus on foundational skills build a solid foundation and make lasting changes some of you may have some connections to egypt i don't know um, because they're pointing out this so some of you again we talked about stability security foundations with the work like if it's your job that you're that's causing you the anxiety and you know you got to walk away but you know you're just not ready um just continue to trust in spirit and plan right preparation and planning like we talked about with this two of wands just continue to plan you have to just put some place some things in place so that you can make the move when you are able to start looking for somewhere else if you're unhappy and you have the masculine <laughs> that is coming in okay Ooh, sexy a man will play a role your masculine side masculine energy so this is taking action like step in like step it up okay step it up if you know something is not working or you want to change it then change it okay be the change you want to see happen in your life 
okay all right air signs listen i hope this was helpful if anything met resonated for y'all if y'all received a message at all make sure you like the video subscribe and i will see y'all next time until then sending love light and healing energy thank y'all bye y'all